And don't be surprised if you feel completely, totally overwhelmed when you do get into office. Because in all that time out on the road, scrambling and fighting to actually get that job, no one briefs you on what to do when you get there. Well, really about the relationship of, uh, of Bill Clinton and Tony Blair. Uh, it's told during the, uh, those exciting years between 1996 and uh, 2000 when uh, so much was happening. I wanted to get my face fuller and the only way to do that was go to McDonald's every day and sort of emulate what, uh, what uh, uh, Clinton did uh, back, uh, you know, during the campaign, and uh, um, so I, I gained 35 pounds for it, which uh, which helped out a lot. And the second part was the hair; where they had a great. There's no way you could, I could, you can get that hair without getting a wig because it's very singular hair. No, no, no. Bill's right because if you don't do it, other people will do it for you. Power pantsuits, man. You put those things on, and you really feel armed and ready to do some sort of battle. Over the years, people have placed all these different labels on her. She's the monster, she's shrewish, she's this, she... And of course now, now in hindsight, now that she's Secretary of State and doing a great job and has a 77% approval rating, now people have forgotten all that stuff, but she was so harshly judged. I don't think they got to the finish line like they wanted to get to the finish line. And uh, the pendulum of the world swung back when the door was shut. Mr. President, do you appreciate Mr. Blair's support? No. <laughs> I think he should have just come over here and jumped all over. <laughs> <laughs>